Yeah, I think uh, that is very clear, Charles. We were surprised that uh, here we're seeing an attempt to rewrite the convention and even the Article 9 of the Paris Agreement itself. Things that are so clear in Article 9 and the Article 4 of convention are being disregarded when it doesn't favor the developed countries. For instance, Article 9 of the Paris Agreement states that climate finance is that finance that moves from developed country parties for climate action in developing country parties. Um, and it should target the needs and priorities and plans of these developing countries. Here we see where they're you know, shoveling out some items that are priorities and of course plans of developing countries such as loss and damage and sustainable development. So if it is not for climate action that is based on the priorities of developing countries, then we are going against Article 9 itself. Then we also see a situation where developed country parties do not want to, you know, put indications of numbers on the table, the quantum, as uh, my sister memory said. And this is against Article 9.5 of the Paris Agreement, which says for purpose of predictability and clarity of information, developed countries have to put their numbers on the table so as to help developing countries plan their activities, their climate action. How can we swim in dark waters when we don't know what will happen? How can we plan on what we don't know? Means of implementation has to be very clear and predictable. And um, when we look at the situation of, um, of COP29, it has been stated that COP29 will be a finance COP. Now, we need to understand that the success or failure of COP depends heavily on the success or not of the SBs. This SB60 is to prepare us for COP. If issues that have to be discussed, decisions that have to be discussed at, at COP29 are not having any indication here, then we are heading to failure of COP29. It will not be a COP of finance. It will be something else for something else. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we are alarmed that the market-based approach and then sending you know, climate finance to the private sector coming to us in forms of loans will set in what we call reverse flow of climate finance. Take, for instance, if a country borrows money, to pay for adaptation action. By the time it's paying that money, it's not just paying the money, it's paying the money with interest. So where has the money flown from? It has, taken, it has been taken from developing countries to developed countries. Is that what the convention or Article 9 says? So we have to avoid these things and this language of a deliance and a semantics doesn't help anybody. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the special needs and circumstances of the African continent. Since COP21 in Paris, this has been our cry as the African region. Despite of the fact that it is being frustrated at all points, we will continue to